yo yo, it's a second to last day, day 10, um, the naked rambler here, the young crazy hippie new dude, checking in for the second to final day, um, have a lovely day, and uh, a day full of what we'd call um, synchronicities, or what I'd call coincidences, which takes away the power of what it actually is, which is amazing, it's not a coincidence, um, so I was walking through town, um, fresh water, just for my second to last day, chill out, left the tent up for the first time ages, and um, yeah, walked to fresh water, walked, just to get out, stay in the same place, listen to podcast, do something, you know, structure your day, do something, go for a ramble, and I went to fresh water to go and get some um, some food for my one meal a day, and um, as I was coming back on the high street, not on the way to, even on the way to I passed something without realising it, on the way back I passed a... Um, a sunbed um, tanning booth, a sunbed shop, and that immediately um, piqued my curiosity, right? Because, um, and it wouldn't have not that long ago, even last year. But now with my vitamin D studies, with my sunlight, sun, sun gazing book, and shit like that, um, I'm aware of the power of um, tanning, right? So, as opposed to judging it or even just walking on by without even realizing what it was. Um, you know, I was like immediately turned on by the fact that shit, there's a there's a sunbed here, and so I went in, and um, yeah, and it, actually, what attracted me to it in the first place was that um, it was super cheap. It said on the outside of the sunbed place, it said 50p per minute, two pounds for four minutes, and uh, what was it? For eight minutes, uh, it's 50p a minute anyway. It's very cheap. So I went in, talked to the guy, who was a beautiful, lovely gentleman, well tanned, just come back from holiday, and um, yeah, talked to him about um, vitamin D production and how important it is, UVB, sunshine on the skin, um, how people don't get enough of it, and just generally talking to him, you know, that I'm into health and all this about, um, you know, and I thought, alright, I've got to try this, you know, I've wanted to try this, it's two pounds for, he says it's best if you're not got, you don't want to tan, you don't want it too long. People do it for tans, but if you just want to cure depression, or you want to create enough to increase your insulin sensitivity, and you know, enough vitamin D for all diseases to optimise the fuck, four minutes is enough. So I went for it. I went for the four minute experience, first time on a tanning bed. It wasn't a bed, it was one of those machines, like cryotherapy, you put you in, you close the door, and it's got like those long tubes of UVB um, only, massive tubes, like seven foot tall, surrounded by them, poles of like 20 or 30 of them surround, you close the door, put the money in, and press the start, and um, immediately I could feel the difference, my mood went up, I felt amazing in the four minutes um, while I was in there, such a mood elevating thing, and I asked him when I came out, is that normal, or is it just because I'm lacking in vitamin D, I didn't think I am lacking in vitamin D and making UVB because of what I'm doing all the time, um, in the midday sun, you know, but... He said, no, no, every time it boosts your mood. And it's so key. I was talking to him a lot afterwards about, you know, what kind of clientele he's got. He says it makes a lot of money. Selling 50p a minute and regulars, um, a lot of women come in, a lot of care workers in the area. Um, they spend a lot of time indoors. Women, they want to look good, tan good. And it also feels good. I mean, primarily they do it. He said a lot of them, a lot of the younger generation, he said, do it for looks, tanning, including the men. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with that in a way because you're getting healthier and nature knows how to make you um, get out and feel good because that's why it put um, beta endorphins and UVB feel boost boosting hormones like serotonin and dopamine inside. They put it inside the sun, the midday sun, on your bare skin hits on it so you can feel good, right? So that's why um, nature knows how to heal you, right? It's crazy. What a crazy concept. Um, so yeah. And uh, yeah, talk, it was a lovely guy. Talked to him, ex alcoholic and shit. And I, I, do you know what? It's my best, first and coincidental best experience I've ever had in Tongue Bad. I recommend them. I'm going to come, um, whenever I come down to Isle of Wight, I'm going to make sure I come down to Needlers again and get it done. And um, I'm a strong proponent in them because they work. They produce the UVB. Um, you know, there's regulations so it can't go too powerful, which is great. And um, but it's perfect. You can tell it's working because it boosts your mood. You feel fucking amazing. And you probably can overdo it and, um, you know, to get this extreme tan. But. Um, to be, if you do four minutes, six minutes, he says it's perfectly fine, perfectly safe, and it's going to help with your health. And as I was saying to him, there would be no diseases on the planet if everyone did four minute tanning UVB every day. And uh, I mean that every day at what? Two pounds. Two pounds for your health. How cheap is that? Two pounds! Did that every day. Fucking hell, that's a worthy investment. Considering we don't get the sunlight here, um, 
most of the time and in the winter none of the time he says another interesting thing is he said that most people most of the customers come in the winter spring when we can not in the summer because the summer there tends to be like now it has been more sun um there's definitely uvb production in the summer spring and autumn the beginning of autumn and it tails off towards the end of autumn and winter so yeah what an experience um the uvb tanning bed a strong proponent that's a big thumbs yes for harry mastine obviously the sun is better obviously I probably got a very high level of vitamin D um, compared to most people in this country. Very healthy level, 60 nanograms per litre, whatever they measure at, 60, 70 at least, I would have thought. All the shit I do on a midday um, sun, but it was a nice experience and definitely works and definitely boosts your mood and definitely better than the pill, in my opinion. I'd, I'm safer to overdo it on a tanning bed than, than one of those things, strobed. It's not, really a, it's not really a bed, you stand on it, like I said, a cryotherapy chamber. It's better to do that than it is to do, um, to overdo do it on a pill where you can get toxicity. So interesting, huh? Let's get that UVB vitamin D. Why do you want high levels of UV vitamin D from a tanning bed or from sun? Many reasons which we talked about before. You, it's absolutely essential for um, skeletal, for skeleton, for growing the muscle, um, growing the, the bones, in effect, the osteoblasts. The ones that remove bones are the osteoblasts where they create bones. For bone creation and powerful, strong bone density, strong mineral bone density, um, and creation of new bone all over the body. And that's why it's a hormone, it works everywhere. It's absolutely essential. Not only that, it affects the muscles, it strengthens the muscles because the neuromusculator skeletal system is all one. So if you've got weak skeleton, weak bones, you've got weak muscles. If you toughen up the skeleton, you've got weak, stronger bones. So it helps um, with muscle athletes and all that shit. What else? Um, absolutely essential for diabetics and for blood sugar levels. Increases, lowers your fasting blood um, insulin levels, lowers your fa fasting blood glucose levels, increases insulin sensitivity, lowers insulin resistance, which is the prime cause of type 2 diabetes. Uh, makes the, basically the cells uh, ability to absorb uh, insulin more efficient. It makes your body more efficient. Um, kills all cancers, the vitamin D, the UVB. Um, creates um, Turns on, the turns on the genes in the cell that are going to kill the cancer cells, apostosis. Um, for me, it gives you a fuck amazing sleep when you've got good levels of vitamin D in your body. It boosts your mood, um, huge. Makes you smart. For me, it upgrades my personality and I become more funnier, um, more witty, and my best version of myself. Yeah. Um, a lot more, which I can't think of this time. Just every disease under the sun. So go and do a tanning bed. In the winter time, if you're in like most countries in the world, not in tropical locations in the winter, you can't produce it. Uh, you're lucky if you live in Florida or the tropics, and um, even if you can, just experiment with tanning beds, man, if it's cheap, so peace.